Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to tell you five things that you must do daily to improve your English skills. Let's get going. Number one, increase vocabulary. I want you to commit to learning five new words every day. And you might be surprised that some of those words will have many different forms. So five words could become 20 words in the matter of minutes. Let me explain. Some words, like the word sad, for example, which is an adjective, could also be an adverb and a noun and a verb. So by learning one word, you could also easily then learn and understand the other forms. So the word sad as an adverb would be sadly. The sad man sadly sat in his chair. And as a noun, it would be sadness. The sadness filled the air. And as a verb, it would be to sadden. His sadness filled the air, which saddened all of the surrounding people. So there you go, one word and four different forms. Can you think of any other words that have all four forms? Verb, noun, adjective and adverb. If so, please put it in the comment section below with example sentences. The next thing you should do daily is to speak in the language. So speak English every single day. Predominantly language is spoken, but many students feel least confident when it comes to speaking. And this is because they don't practice often enough. Number three, read. No matter what level you're at, I recommend that you read a news article. Let's say we choose the BBC news website. Go to the world news section and choose a story you have already heard about in your own language. Being familiar with that story, you'll perhaps recognize some of the details. And this is a good way to kind of work through a piece in English that perhaps uses vocabulary you're not familiar with. Hopefully the context will help where you understand some of the words in a sentence, but not all. But because you know the story already, you might be able to work things out and fill in the blanks. If you are at a very advanced level, then perhaps mix things up. One day go to the sports section and read a sports article. Another, maybe look at a science article or something on lifestyle and health. Number four, watch. Watch a series or a film, ideally one you're already familiar with, that you've seen perhaps dubbed into your own language, or one where you've read the book and now you're going to watch the film. By watching native speakers, you're going to pick up a whole new aspect of the language, and that is our body language when we speak, our pronunciation and our intonation and patterns when we speak. All this will help you to become more comfortable and familiar with the language. And finally, number five, recap. As you're doing this work daily, it's important that you don't forget the things you've learnt before. So let's just take those five new words that you're learning every day. Be sure to write them down in a little notebook. Carry that notebook with you everywhere you go and keep adding to it. Then at the end of each day, perhaps as you lay your head down to rest, just pull out your book and have a look through your notes and remind yourself of the vocabulary you've learnt over the past week. By constantly revisiting old information, it helps to solidify, I love that word, solidify that knowledge in your brain, keeps those memories nice and strong. So to recap, we're going to learn five new words every day in all of their forms. We're going to try to speak with a native teacher on a regular basis. If you can't afford to take lessons, then perhaps try and find a language partner who is also learning, who can help you. 
Number three is to read a news article each day. Number four is to watch a program or a film in English every day. And number five is to recap all the things you've previously learned, or some of the things at least. So do let me know in the comment section below what you do daily in order to improve your language skills. If you do anything that I've already mentioned, then please tell me about it. How is it working for you? Otherwise, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're learning English, then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.